Little Willie John, born William Edward John, was an exceptionally talented singer known for his unmatched vocal abilities. Despite his tragic life and untimely death at the age of 30, his influence on the music industry cannot be overlooked. He was a true genius and a free spirit, often misunderstood during his time. Renowned artists such as Stevie Wonder, Levi Stubbs of the Four Tops, and Jeffrey Osborne credit him as a major influence on their own musical careers. Born in Cullendale, Arkansas in 1937, Willie John moved to Detroit, Michigan with his family at the age of four. He grew up surrounded by gospel music, but was also heavily influenced by jazz and blues, which he heard on the radio, and at local music shops. From age 12, Willie would often sneak out of his bedroom at night to experience the vibrant music scene in Detroit's theaters and clubs. Willie's talent was recognized when he performed in talent shows and caught the attention of Johnny Otis. However, Otis chose to sign another artist due to Willie's young age. It was at a later event that Willie caught the eye of his future manager, Harry Bork. Despite having no prior experience, Bork recognized Willie's immense talent and convinced his parents to sign a managerial contract for their teenage son. At the age of 15, Willie recorded his first hit song, Mommy, What Happened to Our Christmas Tree? Mommy, what happened to our Christmas tree? Last night it was... The success of this song brought him local fame and led to interviews and performances on radio and television. In 1954, Willie left high school to tour with bandleader Paul Williams. However, his behavior led to his dismissal from the orchestra. Fortunately, he secured an audition with King Records and was signed by musician and producer Henry Glover in 1955. His first single with King Records, All Around the World, became a major hit, reaching number five on the R&B chart. All around the world, I'd rather be a fly, a light on my... Despite his success, Willie faced financial challenges as he discovered that King Records paid him in cars instead of cash. Touring became his main source of income, and he embarked on numerous tours to maximize his earnings. Although he recorded the popular song, Fever, in 1956, he struggled to replicate its success with subsequent releases, which marked the beginning of his decline. Willie's career spiraled downward rapidly, and in 1963, he was dropped by King Records due to his alcohol abuse. The following year, he assaulted a man in a nightclub and fled to the Pacific Northwest to avoid arrest. In 1964, during an altercation at an illegal drinking establishment, Willie stabbed a man in the chest with a steak knife, resulting in his death. Initially charged with murder, Willie was convicted of manslaughter after trial. He served a year and 10 months of his 8 to 20 year sentence at the Walla Walla State Penitentiary in Washington. While in prison, Willie experienced further troubles but continued to make music and perform. Sadly, he died of a heart attack on May 26, 1968, at the Walla Walla Penitentiary. Despite his short-lived career, Willie John's legacy as a gifted vocalist and influential figure in R&B and rock and roll remains. His music continues to captivate audiences and inspire generations of musicians. In the wake of his death, James Brown released an album titled, Thinking About Willie John and A Few Nice Things, as a tribute to the late singer. Little Willie John's impact on the music industry and his unique vocal talent ensure that he will always be remembered as one of the greatest singers of all time.